Hi Aquarius, welcome to your January 2017 love reading from Island Girl Tarot. I hope everyone has had a great um, New Year's and I know you guys are <clears throat> coming up on your birthday. Some of you will have a birthday this month, so happy early birthday to you early Aquariuses. You can reach me at islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. That's islandgirl with two L's on the end of girl2008 at gmail.com. <clears throat> Pardon me. And with that said, let's get right to it, Aquarius. You can also uh, catch me Saturday morning at 1030 Central Standard Time on Facebook. That's Island Girl Tarot on Facebook. And I'll do a live drawing. And if you're in the chat room, I'll draw a card for you. Look forward to seeing you there. Aquarius, Aquarius, January 2017. Aquarius, Aquarius, January 2017. Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Aquarius. Okay, somebody's getting married. The Queen of Wands is the bottom of the deck, and of course she's just all beautiful energy, and let's see, if it represents a, the, the, the person, it's a um, fire sign, um, Aries, Libra, Aries, Leo, excuse me, Aries, Leo, um, well, I can't even think of it, um, <laughs> Sagittarius, which was my moon sign. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. Anyway, um, so there we have it. With with the beginning of the reading, starting with the magician. This is just an amazing reading. It shows me that you got your stuff together and you began manifesting the life that you wanted. You worked really, really hard at it. You went through a lot of bad apples before you came upon the woman of your dreams, and she's there, and I think she's that uh, Queen of Wands. Um, we've got two aces in the spread. We've got both the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. The Emperor is the center of the deck, which is you, um, Aquarius, in this case. I mean, he is, this is you being in charge and in complete and utter control of every facet of your life. You've got your finances, your love life, your work life, your family life. Everything is just rolling. I mean, we've got him sitting right next to the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> and the reason why I say if somebody is, if you're not already married, you're contemplating getting married, I've got the Hierophant right here. And to me, he is a marriage card in this case. I just think with, with both aces, I believe that you have found especially the ace of cups you you have found your spiritual soulmate and you're ready to to make this happen i honestly want to say you may have found your spiritual soulmate on the internet you know or tinder or whatever eHarmony, what have you um it's going to be a good relationship these two together are a powerhouse couple this is a ceo and his queen literally um, <clears throat> I believe the hangman is the last card in the deck, and I don't know if it's telling you if you're getting going to get engaged or planning a wedding that there may be, I don't know that there's necessarily a delay in it, I'm just, I think it's wanting to tell you to look at things from every angle possible. Just don't think, and probably a lot of it would cost too. You know, um, although there's not very, not any pinnacle cards in here, but I'm just, I, I, I think the, the hangman in this scenario was here just to tell us to make sure that you look at everything from all angles as you're moving forward with this life changing and life altering decision. I mean, with both aces, <clears throat> that just is, is, it's new beginnings in several areas of your life. Again, the Ace of Cups is all about emotion and spirituality, intuition, love, of course. And then the Ace of Swords is your legalities, your thoughts, your conversation, your communication. So it just, the whole reading just plays out that you manifested your queen and you were moving forward uh, with your dreams of making a family. And... <clears throat> 
I mean, I just don't think it gets much better than this as far as a family. And it just shows it's a great, solid foundation with the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups. Um, it is just a good, strong, abundant, happy re uh, union. Um, I was going to say reunion, but union. And if for some reason you're single and looking, you're almost there. Just keep at it. You're at the Nine of Wands. And it will happen. The opportunities are there. Um, the Ace of Swords and the here uh, the Hangman together always scream, think outside the box. So if you're single and you've never done any of the internet dating, you might look at it that way. Um, if you're uh, if you've done the internet dating and you know that's just not gotten it for you, well then you know maybe find a spiritual church or outlet or. Reiki Center or something, you know, whatever you're interested in, go pursue that and see if there's not, um, you won't meet your, your potential partner that way. It's a beautiful reading, Aquarius. You guys are um, hitting on all cylinders for the month of January. Don't let the retrograde, uh, the first part of the month, worry with anything. You know, I just don't think that... Um, you've even gone back to revisit an old love or anything like that. This is strictly moving forward and you have manifested, you have just taken control of your life and you have manifested your entire relationships, work, career. You, you're just, you're just rocking it, Aquarius. Aquarius. So I'm glad, so happy for you. It is uh, nice to have a reading like this. Um, I just did one that was not good at all for, for uh, my poor Capricorns. Um, so, I'm very happy for you all, and I certainly hope that you all are um, able to take this information and use it. In other words, if you're like, Island Girl, there's no, I have nobody in my sights. There's not anybody around me. Well, okay, go do something different. Go somewhere different. Go, you know, if you live in the city, go to the country. Go on a hiking, kayaking, do something different. And I honestly think that if you just think outside the box, that's where your that's where your person's going to be. And really, a lot of it has to do with the magician, the hangman, the ace of cups. That's very that in the hierophant. It's all very very spiritual. So you know, it could be telling you to go within, begin your own spiritual awakening. And as you do that, you get your floor set underneath you, and then you go and you meet other people that are like minded and thinking like you. And then suddenly, there's your twin flame. So I hope everybody has a great month, Aquarius. Take care. And if you have any questions or would like a reading, again, it's islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. I hope everybody has a great January. Bye, Aquarius.